So the word wind turbine itself is actually a fairly simple structure. The wind comes in and moves the blades and that in turn um, moves the motors that are inside the turbine creating electricity. That then travels down the tower and into a transformer and go to the substation. And then from there, the substation can put it out into the poles and wires that then connect up to the houses. So full capacity, this wind farm can generate 132 megawatts, which is enough to power 60,000 homes. As you go up, you have to uh, appreciate the closeness. Yes, yeah, very tight. The guys, uh, yeah, don't mind hugging. <laughs> Basically, up the top, it, it is, I suppose, not dissimilar to a massive tractor. We need to have 24 hour surveillance of high voltage assets. Uh, to do this, we've got a control room in Spain. We have someone looking at a computer screen for 24 hours where we can monitor in real time all of our wind farms globally. And then we can dial into every turbine. We're at 184 currently. You can see that this turbine is doing 501 kilowatts, which is about the equivalent of doing 300 homes for an hour. What we call the hub height, where the nacelle sits on top of the steel tower, is 87 metres, and then we've got a maximum tip height of the blade at 150 metres. We're moving into using turbines that just keep increasing in size. Uh, from a community perspective, that can be really good because it means that we can get more electricity generated from less turbines. Um, but with that goes an increase in the height of the turbines, which obviously increases that visual appearance of them within people's communities.